Hello and welcome back. And uh, in this video, we're going to be creating our task list view model. Uh, now, task list view model is basically going to be used by our UI view controller or UI table view controller, um, a view controller that's going to host the table view. And uh, basically, it's going to be used to list out all the tasks that we have available and stored inside core data. Now, task list view control view model is not going to expose our task data model directly but rather it'll expose a task view model that we created in the last video so let's go ahead and uh, get started by creating a new file and uh, we're going to select a swift file template uh, and we're going to name this task list view model and uh, this view model is going to import from foundation, which is uh, already included. And uh, we're going to create a class now. Uh, and uh, this class is going to be ta called task list view model. Okay. And uh, we're going to create, first thing we're going to create is a uh, tasks variable, which is going to be task view, task view model type and it's going to be initialized with an empty array and uh, basically the purpose of this variable is to hold all the values that we are fetching from the core data side and the uh, reason we want to fetch we want to keep this value cached so we don't have to reach out to core data if nothing has changed but also there are like you know some other operations that we can do for example we want to know how many number of rows we want to display in our ui table view well we can actually get that number out from this variable rather than reaching out to core data okay so like there are a few functions that we're gonna actually a few functions and variables that we're gonna use um, uh, which are gonna be backed by this variable and then there are gonna be other functions that are gonna basically use core data to reach out to core data and uh, essentially um, get that information to us okay all right so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to start with the initializer and this initializer is simply going to call a function get all now get all is going to get all the uh, records from core data so let's go ahead and create that get all function and uh, this function is uh, basically going to populate the task with core data value okay so fetch data from core data and populate tasks and we're going to come back to this once we have our core data manager ready and uh, then we're going to basically uh, just add the code that's going to help us fetch that information okay next thing we need is uh, basically our table view is going to need to know how many tasks we are actually displaying or how many rows we need to display and this is one of the requirement of table views data source delegate protocol and uh, we need to fulfill this so in order to fulfill this what we're going to do is we're going to use our tasks local variable and we're going to get the count from that and return that as a number of tasks so we're going to simply create a variable called number of tasks which is going to be of an integer type and it's simply going to return tasks dot count okay now right after the get all we also need to know uh because the, there are two sections that we are displaying so let me sh pull up the app all right so we have our app running and uh, there are two sections that we are showing and we have two different types of cells that we want to display so first cell actually displays the information about number of tasks that we have in the list and uh, basically number of to do's uh, that we need to do and number of things that we have already done and uh, this is a separate row than this one uh, like they're clearly visible but like they're, they're also in different sections so i can show you like you know how you can create different sections within a single 
table view. So we're going to basically have uh, a uh, have a function which is going to return number of rows by section. Okay. Now for the first section, which is the zeroth index section, we're going to have only one row, which is going to simply display the summary of overall tasks that we have in the list. And the second section, which is going to be section indexed one, it is going to display the number of tasks that are there, like, you know, in total. Okay. So, um, actually, uh, not in total. Uh, yeah. So this one is going to have in total, basically combining completed and non-completed one. And this one is going to be summary displaying like, you know, how many to do and how many completed. All right. So let's go back into our, uh, tasks, task list view model and i just realized i think we need to we should rename this as um actually task list is okay all right so let's go ahead and uh, create our function and uh this function is going to be called uh number of rows by section integer so we're gonna pass section and what we expect this function to return is number of rows to be displayed uh, for the uh, table view to render. Okay, so we're going to say if the section is section count or the section that's been passed to us is zero, we're going to return one. There's going to be only one row that we want to display. Otherwise, um, we're going to display number of tasks, which is essentially just the task dot count. Now, this row, the reason we are not putting else statement because it doesn't matter uh, because we are returning our uh, function right from here. So let's say when the section zero uh, shows up, uh, number of rows, we're going to return one and this line will never execute. So we don't need an else statement, although we can put one and that's quite unnecessary. So in order to save some lines, we're just going to leave it like that. If this condition doesn't uh, satisfy, then we are anyways returning number of uh, tasks that are in the list. Okay. Now, once we have our number of rows ready, we want to actually get number of tasks by type. So we want to know how many tasks have been completed and how many are still pending to do meaning incomplete count. So we're going to basically create a function which is going to return a tuple of completed and incomplete items. Okay. So we're going to simply create a function called get tasks by type. And uh, this guy is going to return a tuple with complete, complete, uh, yeah, completed and uh, actually let's call it complete items and uh, incomplete items okay and uh, what we what we need to get is basically we need to reach out to our tasks and uh, we actually want to filter out everything that is already marked completed so we're going to simply say completed count and this is going to be tasks and we're going to actually use a lazy property. So whenever this uh, function, actually this count is needed at that time, these operations are applied and our Xcode auto uh, complete is pretty smart. In that case, it actually suggests that. So we're going to leave it at that. Uh, we're going to say task dot lazy dot filter and lazy is applied for all higher order functions. So you can use it with map with filter reduce or like, you know, any of those and uh, they're more memory optimized uh, as well. Uh, so what we want to do is uh, we want to actually return all the, uh, all the tasks that are marked completed and I'm going to copy this guy. Actually, I'm going to copy the whole thing and paste it. And uh, let's change this to incomplete count. Okay. And we just want to change this to not. Okay. And basically what this is saying is like, you know, all that written, all the tasks that are not marked completed. Okay, and we're going to simply return our completed count and incomplete count. Okay, so this i needs to be small. There you go. 
All right, so this is our uh, function, which is gonna give us task by type. Now this particular function is going to be used by our, um, uh, by our summary cell, which is uh, gonna display the summary of total number of records. So this is where this information is gonna be shown, okay? Then right after that, we actually need to get a task. Now this is going to be a convenience function because there are gonna be several places where we're gonna actually, we're gonna wanna know what is the task at this index or at certain index and, um, you know, like, you know, instead of basically reaching out to the entire um, data set and basically getting it out, um, that is a little bit inefficient. Like, you know, rather than that, we can actually create a function which takes an index and then gets that information out to us. So we can simply create a function called task by index. And uh, this is going to take an integer based index and it's going to return task view model. Okay. And what this guy is going to do is basically just reach out to tasks and get the task at that index, which is uh, stored at that index. Okay. Now there are like, you know, two operations that we're going to do on each row. First operation is going to be toggling the completed state. Whenever a task is completed, we want to toggle that state. And to show you basically swiping on this cell, uh, we can mark it complete or incomplete. So we can mark it not complete and we can mark it complete. So this is a conditional um, swipe gesture that we have added. So that's one operation. So let's go ahead and create a function backing that. And we're going to be calling this one toggle completed task task view model and this is going to call core data uh, uh, to basically mark uh, or toggle the state of complete okay so call core data to toggle completed state all right and then we're gonna call the get all function because we want to basically uh, refresh our list okay we want to make sure that we have the latest and greatest being fetched from the core data so we want to call get all and the next operation that we have on our row is on the other side of swipe gesture swiping right to left uh, essentially displaying us the delete button clicking on this would delete a record so what we want to do is we want to create a function that is going to uh, support this functionality so we're going to simply say delete item uh, and the task that is going to be supplied so task uh, view model task view model which is going to be expected to be passed in and we're going to call core data to delete the task that is being given and refresh our list by calling get all okay so this is basically our entire task list view model which we're going to use again with the ui table view to populate our table view with all the data that has been saved inside the um inside the core data okay all the tasks that have been stored inside the core data all right with that we have reached the end of uh this video and in the next video we are going to create another view model and this one is going to be simple this one is basically to add a new task so we're going to create add new task view model which is going to have just one function being able to add a new task into the core data all right so i'll see you guys in the next video where we're going to be uh, creating that view model all right thank you